First time I met Coach Coker, yes. I actually was not getting recruited at the moment. I get a call saying that they're on their way to my house. Um, and we weren't prepared. We had no idea. When you meet him for the first time and he has that big old championship ring on his hand and gives you a little fist bump, it, it definitely makes an impact on an 18-year-old, 19-year-old. He called me back there, David, I'm gonna come talk to you. It wasn't so much about football. We were just having a good conversation. He didn't come in there like, are you interested in us? He didn't ask me none of that. So yeah, I think that, that just speaks testament to the person that Coach Coker is. Uh, I'm at my house and I'm telling them like, hey, uh, Coach Coker's coming by like right now. Like, we, gotta, we gotta clean up. We gave him what we could. At the time it was uh, some quick Kool-Aid and we gave him some crackers and cheese. He ate, he drank all the Kool-Aid. He ate all the crackers. He ate some of the Mexican candy. And then when he offered, when he said that we wanted to offer you a full scholarship, like my, my, my mind was blown. Well, all we had for a coaching office was a little trailer. We were in a basketball gym. We called it the weight room, or that was our locker room over there. And we were having meetings outside. You didn't uh, have your own, your own field to practice on. I'll honestly say that my concerns were really pretty much gone once I discovered that Coach Coker was going to be the coach. That, that alone eliminated any worries I had right there, knowing that he was going to be the, the captain of the ship. And this is someone that has coached some of the greatest players to ever play the game. This is a guy who, who has a championship, national championship ring, and he's never too big for the moment. He's never too big for anybody he meets. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart um, where um, for taking a chance on me and for giving me the opportunity to change my life. There is no David Glasgow without Larry Coker. So just thank you for everything. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You took took a chance and you believed in this little skinny slow kid from San Antonio. Thank you for, for, for giving me the opportunity to empowering me as a player, to believing in me. Um, without that, um, I don't think I would be where I'm at today. Every time you see UTSA win, you should feel a huge joy in your heart because you were the one that started this whole thing.